right, ladies and gentlemen, this is actually big. Just received big boxes from Xbox assembly team and don't not. First of all, shout out to y'all. Let's do this, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. It literally says, tell me why on the, on the box itself. Look at this. <laughs> that is so cool. Okay, boys, here we go. Look at this. Tell me why. Again. From the inside, it is all like designed and everything, so that is so cool. Before we get to whatever that is, we're gonna wait for that, but I have some papers I wanna read, so let's read them out, let's see what do we have here, boys. First of all, I'm gonna start with the letter that they sent me, let's see what they have to say. I'm gonna post a picture as I'm reading this on the screen right now. Okay, tell me why. Limited edition poster, hello. Thank you for sharing your excitement for tell me why. As a show of our appreciation, we are gifting you these limited edition custom wood posters featuring original hand-drawn tilling it form line art. When you enter the world of tell me why this summer, you will see art such as this throughout the worlds of Dallas Crossing. Tell me why is not on only a game to us, but also also an opportunity to celebrate the rich history of the Alaskan region and show that a game setting can be more than just a beautiful landscape. The smell of it though. This artwork is a limited edition Tlingit formline piece printed on wood created in a celebration of the video game Tell Me Why from Xbox Game Studios and Don't Not Entertainment. And then you have signature from all the awesome people that everyone did on behalf of everyone at Xbox and Don't Not. Thank you for sharing our story. Tell me why. Why do I deserve all of this? <laughs> Thank you so much, don't not. It has this bubble wrap sound. Look at this. I'm gonna I'm gonna sit here doing this the entire night. Look at this. <laughs> this is legit wood. Alright, look at this. Look at this. This is legit wood. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this. It literally shows the art that is literally in the city of Alaska that we played in Tell Me Why chapter. It's legit wood. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> the goblins. <laughs> but if you turn this around, you can see here, Tell Me Why. This is the name of the thing. Xbox Game Studios here and don't not entertainment here it's legit wood it's only a few of those because they sent me a long time ago but it came so late <laughs> we appreciate that ladies and gentlemen we really do let me just get a let me just get a photo glimpse of that good stuff anyways boys tell me why chapter 3 is due in t on 10th September. I'm kind of sad that the gaps in between is not too much, even though that is literally what we get mad at every time whenever there is a episodic or chapter perspective game. This one is special, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sad that not many people are watching it. It is unfortunate, but I think that's the beauty of it, that only few chosen people are part of this awesome community and awesome clan. I will be here for chapter three which is the final chapter for tell me why i'll see you boys oh the flips uh, thank you look at this look at this man look at this it's 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 still wooden sound look at this it's so good sounds Yeah, you experienced that goodness gracious. What is this making empire is making empire? Welcome back to another tell me why chapter 3 video today I have such an interesting theory video now usually what I do with these episodic games I would make theory videos of course for ending and everything but tell me why I had such a small gap that I couldn't get any time But I had to make at least one video. I will make one tomorrow as well But today we're gonna talk about tell me why chapter 3 ending theory in chapter 2's ending We saw a man on the boat who is presumably the father of these kids who threatened Marianne to go to the court for these kids legal matter but we're not here to talk about the legal matter we're here to talk about who is the father who is the boatman of course these are from the same people who made life is strange well not literally but it's from the same developers 
don't nod so there is bound to be mystery shocks twists and turns so today i have come up with a small theory of who is going to be the father or the boatman of course you can leave your theories down in those comments below so the current possibilities we have is number one sam who is very unlikely then we have at number two eddie the chief brown of course who is also very unlikely and i'll get to those why in just a second and number third which is very likely probably not tom of course with tessa but tessa is not the boatman we're talking about tom in specific but apart from that even if it's someone we've already met there's only been two chapters dude which means one of these three characters has to be that man otherwise no matter who they show it's not gonna have that big of an impact in life is strange jefferson spoilers alert through hints acted unsuspiciously but still was around for so long that it made an impact good or bad him being the main villain made such a massive impact he was literally throwing around hints in the first episode but we come back to tell me why sam we met him twice now and we know how close he was to marianne we saw that in both chapters eddie we met him twice now literally two endings have been in the police station with him tessa twice again in the symmetry in the home and everywhere both in chapters one and two tom here out of everyone also twice but out of every man tom is the most secretive we learned about how sam's relationship with marianne was but he would do anything for her not act the way boatman did during the ending eddie although there are so many evidences pointing towards him being the boatman the issue is there's just too much him confronting marianne having argues and differences of her before during and after those days however it is too easy to give away him as the main twist that is way too easy both for sam and for eddie that leaves us with you guessed it tom who's not only has the perfect setup with tessa in terms of her going mad after finding out tom cheated on her with marianne and hence one of many reasons she flipped at her multiple times or she doesn't know which would make for a good twist that tessa suspected tom was going with marianne but didn't knew about it so that's why she was going very personal with marianne to find out if her husband was cheating or not and that would also be a good twist that we were mad at our wrong person the whole two chapters but even after all of this freak tessa all my homies hate tessa that leaves us with either new entry that has nothing to do with anyone that would be dull and impactful in my opinion so it has to be someone we have already met so the evidence is points towards Tom. He has perfect lineup so far of evidences that helps not only driving the plot but also having emotional impact because he's the only one who seems sane in this town but also his history with Marianne, Tessa, Eddie and Michael. If they want to go that route they shouldn't miss this opportunity. But for missing a big puzzle here just like my limited edition poster by Don't Nod, Allison's involvement. I believe she knows a bit more about that boatman than she lets on. Specifically how she was trying to keep it from Tyler. Ever since Tyler got back, she's been very apologetic. We thought it was her guilt of killing her mother, but it could be more than that. Keeping the truth from Tyler, what if she already knows what happened? All of them knows what happened, and they're trying to keep the secret from Tyler. What if Allison is in on it too? That, to me, would be far more shocking than a store guy Tom. But there's also one other route we can go for. Maybe Tom realized and figured it out that it was Allison who killed her. And in return, because he had history with Marianne, they both came to an agreement to keep silent. Who knows? Either way, Allison knows something and we've seen in chapters 2 and 3 trailer that chapter 3 is mostly about Allison, her being in this weird world that we saw in chapter 3 trailer. I'm telling you, people are not playing this game thinking it's an agenda. They're missing out on all of this good stuff. Mystery, characters, twists good plot as well look at me i was not that excited for this game i'm gonna keep it 100 with you but they blew me away first chapter one awesome then chapter two pacing good so much so that i'm out here doubting my own main character allison if they're in on this biggest drama of a small town in alaska and by the way the town is very beautiful i see community screenshots it's good and they should add photo mode as well anyways i'm gonna leave you with this limited poster again shout out to don't nod that was my two cents on who should be the main boatman who should be the father and what should be the twist they add allison needs to be involved in this big time she needs to be guilty for something to really make our jaws dropping ladies and gentlemen but that would do it i really hope you guys enjoyed my take on this allison and tyler and tom situation i hope you like my take on alaska town in general anyways i'm so excited for chapter three tell me why and i can't wait to play it anyways boys i'll see you on the flip side.